quickly taken free kick and the first chance. Portsmouth struggling to get the shot in and Harrow got it away. We hear as easy it was with the initial effort for Pompey who come forward again through Romeo and that one flies just wide. Well, 90 seconds gone here at Fratton Park and already a scare for Harrow Borough. Well, for Danny Kelly and his team, this is exactly the start as he, a coach would want. You want them to be on the front foot, you want to place the nervous opponents under early pressure in the game. Harness. Tangled with Pretty. Came away with it. Taylor's ball forward. Could be an opportunity here. First attack of the game for Harrow Borough and a save forced from Gavin Bazunu. This is going to be the blueprint, isn't it? They're, they're going to defend in numbers. They're being forced to defend in numbers, but they know that Ewan Simmons got some pace. Anything in behind is going to cause Portsmouth problems. Sean Raggett shows him inside, which is not the ideal thing to do in that situation. Ewan gets his shot away, and it's a, a comfortable save for Bazunu, but a warning for Portsmouth. Aziz can bring it forward for the home side. Morel, Romeo sprinting forward, he's got Harness in the middle. It's Marlon Romeo, saved, brilliantly saved by Josh Strizovic. It's a drive and run falls, and it's first time in the game that the plenty of space, the game opened up. Romeo with the first attempt, and great save from Strizovic, and Harness was unlucky not to get on the rebound. Once again, there's space for Romeo on that far side. He's been a really useful attacking outlet for Portsmouth so far. And there's Harness! Portsmouth lead. They have found it very difficult against Harrow Borough. But Marcus Harness, the season's top scorer, is a man upon which they can rely. Far too much space on the right side of the pitch for Portsmouth. Romeo drives into that space. And at last for Portsmouth, they get the quality of delivery. Correct, into the box. He looks up, he picks out his teammate, Harness, who's been their most influential attacking player so far. Another test for this bar of defence. Decent looking corner. And uh, Harrow couldn't quite clear. Josh Strizovic forced into the save. Harrow Barra survive. Romeo's ball forward up to Marquis here, holding off Pretty and finding Marcus Harness, who's looking dangerous. Oh, he strikes the post, Marcus Harness, so close to his second goal of the game. This is great, direct, skillful attacking play. Drives at the defence to work that shot towards the goal, and he's so unlucky. It strikes the foot of the post with real power. There's Curtis. Marquis Harness is in a bit of space here. It's Marcus Harness beaten away. And once again, Harrow Borough survive. No surprise to see Marcus Harness, you know, the most dangerous Pompey player, testing them. It's his cross too, but it drops safe this time. Well, he's denied again by a goalkeeper who's been in fine form this afternoon. Six minutes or so left in the 90 here. Harrow Borough pray for that one clear-cut opportunity. Great challenge by Adenola. It falls for Moore, who goes for goal, and Bazunu is able to grasp it. Well, they point down about him being a shoot-on-sight type of striker. That's been his best attempt in the game so far. Here's Curtis. Looking to finish things off, the Irishman. And there is the final whistle. Harrow Borough defeated, but certainly not disgraced. A solitary Marcus Harness goal in the first half was enough to win it in the end. But Portsmouth struggled desperately against the side, 79 places below them in the footballing pyramid. Portsmouth 1, Harrow Borough 0.